This is Chantel de Champignon. One night in the bar was having a jar of me, destiny a beckon. Then a vision burst on top of me first and flattened me pint in a second. Twas a lady fair with short blonde hair and her beauty was shame all queen. With her glistening lips and her twisting hips and her slim fitting Levi jeans. So I hopped off the old stool, I observed the first rule, I checked the tie in the fauna, and got ready a story, a ditter in glory about Jim and Douglas Gronia. The opening line was, hello there sunshine, how is it going? My name is John. With a toss of her head, this goddess says, I'm Chantel the Champignon. Oh, be that, I said, you're a thoroughbred, you're no cave woman from cabin. You're very aristocratic, aromatic, aromatic, what are you having? Now from the fur on her brow, but tell us how she was torn between a short and a long. On an Irish cough in the pint of Murphy, said Chantel the Champignon. <laughs> you see, she had been hitching around, and yet she hadn't found any savages looking for scalps. She had scaled the peaks of Orkney and Leaks, which made her homestick for the Alps. So here she lands with the weaker hands before going back to France. She'd like to get to know Galway and Mayo. So I said, geez, that bit is, is me chance. So I said, sure, I'm your man I have a high ace van and I've got to do right now. So the old five acre farm that come to the heart, so the old calf can milk the cow. So the hell with the silage will clock up the mile to be as safe as with your daddy. She said, I like you more than I did before, the spittings and the paddy. <laughs> Next day we drove through Creek and Cove all along the western seaboard, and the music of her voice was twice as nice as the notes of any keeper. She said, oh John, you turn me on, you completely fill up my senses. I can see in your eyes are the stars in the sky shining out through your contact lenses. So I pulled up the old van and oh John, please don't take it amiss. Or I said you'll find out I had to take with just a bit, bit of a kiss. Well, the time went past and things went fast between one thing and another, and she had a plane to catch back to carry matches here, Uncle Granny, her father, her and her mother. So we loaded up the old van with cheese and the ham and a six pack from the fridge, and a Guinness cake for the final leg of her amorous pilgrimage. We drew into Dunleven about 25 minutes to seven, went off to see my Uncle Ted. We head to the lock around at seven o'clock and we slept in St. Kevin's bed. Next day it was dawn, and I was yawning, and dawn and me she was going. So those words she spoke, and we drove to the smoke before she boarded Boeing. I'll acquaint my parents with what has transpired, my paltry possessions I'll pack. And up with you, I'll I'm, I'm back to you I'll return on wings of desire, and up with you I'll shack. That night I flew low to at lone and bound and slow, I was home an hour and a half. Although it was late, I had to celebrate, so I killed the old cat fatted calf. Next day I booked a room for the upcoming honeymoon where no one would be any wiser and raptors and ruptures I published me nuptials in the Galway Advertiser. So for six years or seven I thought I was to heaven I was trying things out for size. But sure like every other lover I was soon to discover it was an Amadon's paradise. <laughs> sure while I was thinking the kingdom had come I was singing glory alleluia. Chantel was marching to a different drummer singing Johnny A. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you.